ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಪರಮಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾ I welcome all of you with my love and respects. I welcome all the visitors, viewers, Sarvangyapita, Yajamans, Karthas, Shri Mahans, Mahans, Kotari, Stanidhar, visitors, Kaya Kalpa Yoga participants, Nityananda Yoga participants, Nityananda Hindu University students, Nityananda E-Gurukul students and everyone watching live on Nityananda TV, YouTube live, Facebook live, Enlighten app, Kailasa TV. Hinduism Now TV, Twitter and two-way video conferencing having Nayana Diksha. I welcome all of you with my love and respects. Today, with the grace of Paramashiva and Parashakti, we did the beginning of the ಅವತಾರ ದಿನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೋತ್ಸವ ಬೈ ರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫ್ಲಾಗ್ ಧ್ವಜಾರೋಹಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೋತ್ಸವ ಧ್ವಜಾರೋಹಣ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ಇನ್ ಆದಿ ಕೈಲಾಸ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪೀಷಿಯಸ್ ಅಕೇಶನ್ as living representative of paramashiva and para shakti i bless you all let's all have the state space powers being and super consciousness of paramashiva let paramashiva and para shakti's blessings be showered on all of us we have started the 42nd avatara dina brahmotsava today today's message from kailasa purpose of my incarnation is to manifest shri kailasa with the grace of parama shiva and para shakti ganapati nandi subramanya mahakala bhairava all the gods and goddesses of kailasa 
understand. Let me explain what I mean by the word manifesting Kailasa. It means multiple levels. Manifesting the Maha Kailasa in Bhuloka as Shri Kailasa. Each one of us has to manifest Paramashiva, the state of Paramashiva, understand? State of Paramashiva means absolute unclutched. Gravity is never felt by you, is state of Paramashiva, understand? The food your stomach is digesting, the emotions your heart is digesting, the thought current your head is digesting, all the three should not be heavy. So light you don't experience gravity. Understand? Gravity is experienced by you as heaviness in the stomach, heaviness in the heart, heaviness in the head. The food you digest in the stomach, the emotions you cherish, you digest in the heart, the thought currents you are digesting in the head, if all these three are light, does not make you feel the gravity, heaviness, load, you are unclutched. This is the definition, understand. If the food in the stomach is not making you feel the gravity, you are Nitya Nirahari. Vyasa, after eating from Gopikas, he says, If I am an Upavasa, Nirahara, let this Yamuna part way and give way for me. And Yamuna parted. I tell you, if the food you take does not make you feel the gravity heavy, means the quantity, quality and the way you take, you are Nitya Upavasi, you are Nitya Nirahari. The emotions you cherish in the heart does not make you shiver, send chills in your spine, sends strong fears in your system, doesn't make you feel heavy, then you are unclutched. The thought currents you are cherishing in your head is not making you feel sad, frustrated, depressed, then you are unclutched. Understand Unclutching Unclutching Intensely Sincerely, unclutching, unclutching, intensely and sincerely. Nothing can be compared to 
the ability of unclutching as a wealth to be earned in this life while you are alive understand while you are in the body the highest greatest best wealth you need to achieve is ability to unclutch it is just my ability to unclutch i am still alive understand please listen it is just because of my ability to unclutch i am still alive otherwise long before i should have been gone if i had mind i would have had mental breakdown long before <laughs> because i don't have one i am not having breakdown ability to unclutch makes you a different metal altogether and just because of the ability to unclutch i am going to live for long time three digit that i already decided three digit years it's not two digit it's three digit <laughs> i am very clear greatest blessing you can receive from parama shiva is ability to unclutch you should keep this as your first prayer prabhu let me unclutch from everything and be in you that's it that should be the first prayer highest priority for all of you i tell you it is just because of my ability to unclutch all the best things have manifested in me so if you ask me the first word of my teachings i'll say unclutch watch those satsangs i started using this word unclutch first time when i gave the satsang on ashtavakra geeta the day my father attained mahasamadhi the way i uttered those words rang in the ears of my father and he unclutched and attained mahasamadhi <laughs> it was power of unclutching which is still keeping me alive i tell you unclutch 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 that makes you a different metal all together especially if you unclutch because of my initiation you just relax in parama shiva rest in parama shiva rip 
should have a new meaning. Rest in Paramashiva. Understand. Nothing like unclutching. Nothing like unclutching. If people ask me, especially our devotees ask, what should we teach first to people, to common man? Teach unclutching. If you have only two minutes to talk to somebody and you want to enrich that person's life, teach him unclutching. In every level, unclutching enlightens people, liberates people. Even trying to unclutch removes tons of fear strokes and loads of fears away from you. Watch the unclutching satsangs. Start living light where gravitation does not have influence over you. Understand? Only a non-violent person can be light. A cunning, violent, traitor, culinaries cannot be light. Feeling light and not being disturbed by gravity is a power of Paramashiva. Power of Paramashiva. Understand? It's power of Paramashiva. The first reason for my manifestation, for my incarnation, to manifest Sri Kailasa First step for manifesting Sri Kailasa is each individual being manifesting the state of Paramashiva State of Paramashiva manifests when you are unclutched. Space of Paramashiva manifests when you start living authenticity, integrity, responsibility, enriching life of completion. Powers of Paramashiva starts manifesting when you start living oneness. Start living in oneness with Paramashiva is being and Paramashiva's being and Paramashiva's super consciousness manifests in all of us by Diksha, initiation, Guru's grace and blessings. Understand? Kailasa is a space, but wherever Sri Kailasa, the space is imbibed and manifested. It starts happening in place also by the grace of Paramashiva and Parashakti. Understand? When each one of you become Paramashiva, 
wherever you are that place becomes de facto spiritual embassy of shri kailasa watch the satsangs about unclutching watch the satsangs about authenticity integrity responsibility enriching and completion watch the satsangs about the oneness with parama shiva and oneness capsules can directly connect you with parama shiva manifest the state space powers being and super consciousness of parama shiva you will manifest shri kailasha listen carefully listen nothing can be compared to the spiritual depth you achieve and manifest in life i want all my sanyasis to know so many sanyasis adinavasis devotees are sending messages to me through various channels what can we do during this time swami ji what can we do how can we stand up how can we protect the sangha i tell you one thing intensify the quality of your consciousness with more unclutching more authenticity responsibility integrity and enriching and completion more more oneness with parama shiva understand more and more initiation and feeling connection with the guru nothing can be more powerful than the spiritual strength many people devotees are saying many sanyasis brahmacharis sir adinavasis kailasavasis are sending message they all feel even they all have contributed directly indirectly for this kind of attacks they were all responsible by not doing what need to be done so many were asking what should we do now this is the solution intensity of your unclutching and intensity of your integrity to guru will be one and the same raise the intensity to unclutch raise the intensity of your completion spend time in completion with yourself and with everyone around you 
more completion within the sangha more trust on each other more love more joy less negativity the depth of the completion you carry the depth of the unclutching you carry the depth of the integrity you carry the depth of the oneness with parama shiva you carry that really matters if at all i expect anything from my sanyasis disciples kailasavasis devotees i expect only this increase the intensity of your unclutching increase the intensity of your air a i r e authenticity integrity responsibility enriching and completion raise the integrity with parama shiva raise your intensity of oneness with parama shiva the moment you chant mahavagya you should be able to see him in your inner space alive the moment you remember the master you should be able to feel the kundalini in your being in your super consciousness increasing the spiritual strength is the real work i want all of you to do that is the real sangha work if you learn unclutching every gift i bring from kailasa shri kailasa will start working for you immediately understand i have so much already brought actually to tell you honestly the signs of kalpavriksha the signs of flowers and fruits from kailasa listen carefully signs of parijata kalpavriksha kamadenu all are ready i can make the dna of kamadenu i can make the whole root of kalpavriksha i can make the combination the unique manifestation of parijata everything is ready i just need few hundred people who mastered unclutching and who are ready to be integrated i am just working for the whole humanity understand i can just put that signs in all of you and you can start manifesting just i need few hundred of you evolved absolutely unclutched so i can with the grace of paramashiva and parashakti bring the gods and goddesses of kailasa to manifest through each of you this great gifts of kailasa to manifest through each of you that is why i am telling when you say you are parama shiva parama shiva does not feel angry irritated threatened violated disrespected no he feels so happy i i can now i am going to manifest in one more body i tell you hindu god celebrates expansion he does not feel threatened 
there is no monopoly there is nothing on the universe which is monopoly i tell you catch this truth monopoly exclusivity is false deluded idea of maya nothing is exclusive including the state of parama is not exclusive understand this is the greatest declaration of hinduism make this as today's statement this is the essence of satsang nothing is exclusive including the state of parama shivatva listen this is the ultimate declaration truth is nothing is exclusive including the state of parama shiva and parama shiva is so happy if you declare you are parama shiva and ready to stand with integrity authenticity responsibility and enriching as parama shiva he feels wow i have one more being through which i can manifest now hindu god is not jealous hindu god is not violent hindu god does not feel violated hindu god does not claim anything as exclusivity this is the beauty of the principle of god in reality and in hinduism hinduism is all about reality i tell you i wanted to reveal one more important secret each sampradaya in hinduism as kandana mandana literature for example shaivism as a set of books called kandana mandana books like they will deny destroy all other arguments and definitions and explanations and establish only theirs as the ultimate same way vaishnavites will have a set of scriptures books destroying all the arguments and claims of the other sampradayas and establishing their own theirs as the ultimate truth and same way advaita advaiti sila one set of kandana mandana books and visishta advaiti sila one set of kandana mandana books listen all this kandana mandana literature should be taken as a inspiration to integrate you and intensify you in those sampradayas not to waste your time in window shopping get into work and get into enlightenment get into any one sampradaya to experience the reality to push you towards the experience this kandana mandana literatures are used do not take kandana mandana literature as truth they are kind of a facts with a purpose facts with a good purpose can be used for that purpose but that is not ultimate truth be very clear so i want all of you to know in hindu tradition each sampradaya has its own kandana mandana literature bauddha sahab kandana mandana literature advaiti sahab kandana mandana and vedanti sahab kandana mandana and even vedantis and advaitis differ you should, you will be surprised to know vedanta and advaita is not same the vedanta sampradaya is different and advaita sampradaya as its own theories and even inside advaita sampradaya there is a sampradaya of mayavata eganmavata ajata siddhanta vivarta siddhanta each siddhanta as their own kandana mandana literatures and baudhis the baudhism buddhism as their own kandana mandana jains have their own kandana mandana veera shaivites have their own kandana mandana 
and dvaitis have their own kandana mandana and shaktas have their own kandana mandana and gaumaras have their own kandana mandana and ganapatyas have their own kandana mandana so understand the kandana mandana literatures means kandana mandana literature is mostly like destroying others arguments and insisting their sampradaya is the ultimate truth so listen these kandana mandana literatures are created for the purpose of making you start travel in the path instead of just window shopping and looking around all the corners you need to fall in love deciding to fall in love i have seen some of the people just by their decision they built love it is not even like a unconsciously built very consciously built very consciously built just by the decision they built if you build the love by the decision consciously you will be so stable consciously building love decision to build love not only makes you light makes you intense intensity and being light is one and the same a light being will be intense in the life intense being will be light in the life listen listen carefully of the being where the authentic parama shivatva manifests is available in all of us and if parama shiva has kept that possibility to all of us he expects all of us to manifest him parama shiva manifesting parama shivatva is not exclusive and he does not claim exclusivity and he is happy to include all of you he is waiting to welcome all of us that is why kailasa does not have gate kailasa is gateless space this bloody ravana who wants to take kailasa goes directly and touches the kailasa and he is not able to take that is different actually this ravana he went and asked the swarna bhavana that built for devi after the marriage this vishwakarma went and pestered devi let me make a griha for you beautiful house in gold with ratna and everything devi said no 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 go and ask bhagwan parameshwara i don't feel i need anything i just need only his lap and i am happy there but this narata fellow never lets anybody rest in peace and this fellow goes and tells devi ah you are going to have now ganapati subramanya all the kids where will they be and you need to have a griha parvati says no 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 i am okay leave it but this fellow like a media and he says no 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 i will ask parameshwara parvati says all right if you want to ask you ask when devi was near bhagwan he goes and asks let's have a swarna griha chintamani griha that's the exact word chintamani griha in kailasa 
Parameshwara says, why? No, now kids are going to come, Ganapati, Subramanya, all of them. Parameshwara said, oh, today you don't have any other work, you have come to Kailasa. Narada says, Narayana, Narayana, no, 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 I just came, I thought I will do some good things in Kailasa, so I came. And Paramashiva laughs and looks at Devi. Devi was neither saying yes nor saying no because Narada went and convinced Devi and Devi said, I am not asking. Paramashiva said, all right, if this Vishwakarma is insisting, make it. They made and there was a Griha Pravesa where Ravana came and Ravana did all the rituals. And Paramashiva asked, you did all the rituals and what is the Dakshina you want? That guy was so enamored by the space and the ecstasy joy of Kailas. He should have asked, oh Bhagavan, you manifest this Sri Kailasa in Sri Lanka. He should have asked that. But the fool thought that place is the reason for that ecstasy, bliss, without understanding that space, Bhagavan is the reason, Paramashiva is the reason for the bliss of Kailasa. <laughs> of course, Kailasa itself is beautiful. I am not disrespecting. But Paramashiva is the source of Kailasa. This fool thought this beautiful Chindamani Griha is the reason for the bliss of Kailasa and he asked, give me this house itself. Bhagavan said, Tatastu, take it. And that fool took that Chindamani Griha and kept it in Sri Lanka. In one month he realized it is his house only, back. Maybe golden house, beautiful house, but the space is same. How he is? He is not experiencing what he had in the Kailasa. That bliss is not there. Then he realized he should get that full space. And even then he should have went and asked Bhagavan, Prabhu, you please bless me that whatever bliss I was experiencing here, I should have that always. Bless me for that. Whatever is said and done, Rakshasa, He did not ask. He himself strategized. Ah, maybe that whole hill is the reason for that bliss. Come on, let me just go and pick that whole hill and bring it here and keep it in Sri Lanka. <laughs> hey! Kaila Satyada Asikkam Yerchi Vanniviye. Sri Kaila Satyada Asikkam Udi Yemada. Yenda! <laughs> Anyhow, the fool goes and puts the hand and tries to shake Kailasa. And Devi looked at Paramashiva. Paramashiva just pressed through his thumb on the Kailasa. That's it. The fellow got cut inside and screaming, Ah, Bhagavani! Men started playing Samagana. Begging Bhagavan to <laughs> release him. <laughs> After that, Bhagavan, out of his grace and compassion, released and let him go. All that is different. Listen carefully. Manifestation of Sri Kailasa means first Parama Shiva should manifest in all of us. Then he manifests Sri Kailasa for all of us. First, the state, space, powers, being and super-consciousness of Paramashiva should manifest. The good news is Paramashiva is not claiming exclusivity or jealous. He is just waiting for all of us to declare and manifest through all of us. Even if you are half of declaring, he manifests and helps you to completely declare and manifest completely. He supports us in our virtuous circle. With little 10% confidence and trust, you declare, I am Paramashiva, let me see. Then one miracle you cause. Ah, 
Yes. I have cast. I am manifesting powers. Good, good. I am able to move coconut. Then with 15% of trust you declare, Yes, I am Paramashiva. Let me start unclutching. Then next power manifests. Wow. I am able to move the matter. Then, wow. With 25% of the trust and intensity, I am Paramashiva. Then more powers manifest, more state, space, powers, being, super consciousness, more joy, all that starts manifesting. Then more trust, intensity, more stronger declaration of oneness with Paramashiva. This is what I call virtuous circle. Paramashiva encourages this virtuous circle. He supports us in this virtuous circle. He appears in deities, Archavatara, in Guru, in Linga, in Sangha and helps us in this virtuous circle. To help us in this virtuous circle, He manifests as Guru, Linga and Sangha. He manifests as Guru, He manifests as Linga in Archavatara, He manifests as Sangha, the right friends who integrate you to Guru and Linga. Understand? Nothing can be compared to, listen, nothing can be compared to spiritual strength. If you want Shri Kailasa to manifest, you have to manifest Paramashiva. You have to intensely connect with Him. Prabhu, Mahadeva, let me melt in you, Paramburule, Paramashiva. You please manifest in this being Nothing is equivalent to the spiritual strength. If any of my devotees, followers, disciples wants to give any Guru Dakshina for my birthday, I will ask you to be more and more integrated to Paramashiva. More and more integrated to Paramashiva. Listen. Be more unclutching, more authenticity, integrity, responsibility, enriching practice, more practice of completion. More practice of oneness, more and more manifesting powers, living in the state, space, powers, being and superconsciousness of Paramashiva. If you ask me, how can we stop these attacks, abuses, this is the solution. Be more stronger spiritually. Evolve with more integrity. If each of us can raise in integrity, completion, unclutching, we can destroy the collective negativity of the universe. What the small, small abuses? We can teach and reach the whole world. I tell you, Kailasa is a space which should manifest in our inner space, then naturally it will manifest in place.
understand. Each one of you should become Paramashiva and Parashakti. The place where you stay, understand, manifest Paramashiva in your inner space. The place wherever you are will become de facto spiritual embassy. I only want one thing from all of you. Have more and more, deeper and deeper integrity to Paramashiva. Integrity to Guru, Linga, Sangha. Intensely, now, connect with Paramashiva, meditate on Paramashiva with 25 heads and 50 hands and 75 eyes with Devi Parashakti in the lap, in Maha Kailasa and let's pray to Him to manifest in all of us and manifest Maha Kailasa in Bhuloka as Shri Kailasa. Let's connect with Paramashiva. Shivoham Sarvasarvebhyo Namaste Asparudra Rupebhya Jata Jutta Vesri 
जैसे विश्व पंतो हवाय नमो नम प्रबलतम से तत्संहारे हराय नमो नम जन सुख कृते सत्वृक्तौदाय नमो नम ब्रमहसि पदे निश्रगुण्ये शिवाय नमो नम परो देव महिम नो ना परा स्तुति अघोरा ना परो मंत्रो नास्ति तत्व गुरु परम दीक्षादान तपस्तीर्थम ज्ञानम यागादि क्रिय महिम नस्तव पाठ से कला नाती षोडशी नंद परम शिवोहम आई ब्लेस यू ऑल लेट्स ऑल रेडिएट स्टेट स्पेस पावर्स ऑफ परम शिवा सो फ्रॉम टुडे नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी वन डेज द अवतार दिन ब्रह्मोत्सव I'll be expanding on purpose of Sri Kailasa with the grace of Paramashiva and Parashakti, and how to manifest Sri Kailasa in all of us and in Buloka with the grace of Paramashiva and Parashakti. So from today. I'll start the Tamil satsang also. You can expect me coming for Tamil satsang live. Mim supporra mamse gada अब्यूसि वीडियो सापोड़ अण्डन तप तप परप्र तंबा ट्रोल सुटे रोल पड़व एल तवराम नईट मणि की तम सत्संग अब भक्त सीडर अड़कामे वू कैन एक्सपेक्ट मी टू कम फॉर तमिल सत्संग इन द ईविंग नईन ओ क्लॉक इंडियन स्टाडर्ड टाइम एट क्लॉक इंडियन स्टाडर्ड टाइम इंग्लिश सत्संग मॉर्निंग Nine o'clock Indian Standard Time in the night, Tamil Satsang. So with this, I bless you all. Let's all radiate with integrity, authenticity, responsibility, enriching, casting, living, shuddhat, vaita saivam, paramashivo ham, om nityananda paramashivo ham, the eternal bliss, nityananda. Thank you. Be blissful.